Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use a frequency polygon to answer some questions. Okay, so what we have here is a frequency polygon. A frequency polygon always starts at the class below um, the first value and ends at the class above because there are zero that fall under that category. So the first thing that we want to look at is how many people sent five messages. So for this one, we want exactly five. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the five and we're going to move up to see how many people and we'll look at the intersection. So we would go across here and see that exactly four people sent five messages. So four people sent five messages. Okay, for the next one, what we want to do is we want to look at how many sent more than seven. So more than seven does not include seven, which means that it is eight, nine, or 10. So we would look to see that eight, there were seven that sent eight messages. There were four that sent nine messages. And there are six that sent 10 messages. So we would just add this together and we can see that 17 total people, so if I add this together, um, I get a total of 17 people sent more than seven messages. And I should probably put four people here just so that you guys know what we're referencing. Okay, for the next one, what we have is we have at most six. So at most six means that they sent three, four, five, or six, because at most includes six, so we would just add those numbers together. So we can see that four sent three, plus six sent four, plus four sent five messages, and we can see that two people sent six messages. So if we add this together, we get 10 plus four plus two, which gives us a total of 16 people sent at most six messages. Okay, and then the last question asks us how many total people were included in the survey? So what we wanna do is we wanna take all of these numbers. So we would start with four, and then we would add the next one, which is six plus four, because basically we could look at what we had before, plus two, plus we had eight that sent seven, plus seven, plus four, plus six. So you could do this without showing out all the work, but I just wanted to show you that we're basically adding all the frequencies, all of these values here, and we just add them together and we get a total of 41. So 41 people were surveyed. So the biggest thing with this to pay attention to is whether or not it includes the value that is given. So if it says things like at most or at least, then it includes it. If it says less than or greater than or more than, um, then it does not include that value. So you would make sure that you don't include that value in your counts. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please make sure to check out all of my additional content, and if there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know as well.